The following program is brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends. Well, Genesis 1.10 says, but I need to go back up to Genesis 1.9 again, because God said, let there be. When God says, let there be, something always happens. Let the water under the sky be gathered together so the dry land will appear, and it happened. How many know when God speaks, it happens? God named, unlike the Republicans, but God named the dry land earth, and the water that was gathered together he called the seas, and God saw that it was good. Every good and perfect gift comes from God, and he'll separate the dry land from the sea. He will take uh, your dryness, and he will add his Holy Spirit to bring you a refreshing, if you'll just ask. Because times of refreshing come from the Lord. And I was thinking about the dry land, and I was thinking about the holy ground that he said we'll walk on. And I wish... Uh, we could afford a real piano player but you know what this is holy ground he said everywhere we walk we're standing on holy ground for the lord when he's present where he is is holy this is holy ground i'm thankful for holy ground for the lord is present and where he is, is holy. How many want to be on holy ground today? That's where we want to be. God, the creator of heaven and earth and the dry land and the seas, will create something great and holy for you today. You'll be blessed by today's program. Freedom's Journey is here. Get ready. Roll it. It's the Kevin Shorey Show. Take before a live studio audience at the Branson Mill in Branson, Missouri. Today, Kevin's special guest, Freedom Journey. And now, when God made dry land, he didn't mean for there to be dry sermons, here's your host, Kevin Shorey. Isn't it a great day to serve the Lord? Welcome to the Kevin Shorey Show, and that's right, no dry sermons around here. I want to give you a word today. As the time of this taping, there was a horrible tragedy in Texas, and I think it's time for God's people to rise up and there be an awakening in America. It's not time to add new laws, but in the natural, it's time to serve God's laws in America. Thank you. Even the Baptists were shouting amen. Come on. It's true. And uh, this week in Branson, they, we just celebrated a horrible holiday, and there's good ones coming up, Thanksgiving and Christmas. But Veterans Day has passed when you're watching this on a Roku network, but uh, in celebration this week of all of our veterans, because just like Christmas and Easter, I think we should celebrate it all year long and especially celebrate and honor our veterans. So in honor of that, we got a great group that's never been on the show before, but I have a feeling they'll be regulars. Would you welcome for the first time, they are family, Darren and Tammy Myers and their son Daniel, and they are called Freedom Journey. Give them a nice hand. His truth is marching on, in God we trust, and on, one nation under God, and on. His truth is marching on. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord, He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. In the beauty of the lilies, Christ was born across the sea with a glory in his bosom that transfigures you and me. As he died to make men holy, let us die to make men free while God is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. 
Still today the battle rages For the enemies remain Who would change the Maker's glory And deny the word he gave And oh millions band together Hand in hand to mock his name His truth is marching on So stand up and now be counted On a shame forever be Right is right and will not alter now or for eternity for his word has never failed us and his truth has made us free and god is marching His truth still marches on. Thank you, Freedom Journey. They're coming back. And uh, I just uh, celebrated a birthday. I know I only mention it every show, but I just like the new cards I keep getting. You know, my nephew from New York finally said, for my birthday, he bought a big box of chocolates. He said they were really delicious. Happy birthday. I get no respect. But, uh, you know, his truth marches on. We just in this past, seriously, this past weekend had a horrible tragedy. When a man that can go into a church during a worship service and go and look at children and shoot them in the head and shoot babies in the face and shoot uh, moms and dads and grandmas. I'm telling you, there is evil in the land. And no matter how many laws we pass in America, it is not the laws of men that need to be exalted. It is the laws of God that need to be brought back again. It's a TV show, y'all can clap if you believe that. But I believe that God has given us as God's people, as Christians, that we have the right to stand up for the things that are right in this nation. The, the Freedom Journey, uh, they're going to sing a song called, If My People. If my people, it comes from Chronicles, it says, if my people call by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. We have wicked ways in this nation. We're gonna have to admit it. And I'm sorry, but I may be one of the very few, which is really sad, preachers that are on TV that are actually telling the nation to come back to an awakening and back to revival. When we talk about revival, we think of a set of meetings by one guy that will lead it and they'll have good music and after the week is over, they go right back to their normal schedule. But this is not revival. This is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this nation falling on its face before God that we come back to our knees and worship God. It starts in the house of God first. Judgment always starts there. The house of God has got to be back to the place of prayer and I know I'm preaching a little louder than normal but it really tears me up I cried for hours when I see innocent people in the middle of Sunday morning church being shot to death 26 people are now dead and there are many that are wounded many more that are wounded and some may not make it these are kids the pastor's own daughter 14 years old was shot in the head Come on now. Is it something that we're not doing from the government? It doesn't start from the White House, folks. It starts in the church house. It starts with you and me in our house. And we have got to pray. 
uh, I know a lot of people get upset. Well, they took prayer out of school, but how many, how many minutes a day do you pray? How much time does your family get together and pray before they go to school? You know what? You can't expect the government to do something that we as God's people need to do first. I know I'm preaching because y'all are quiet. I'll wait till there's applause and then I'll go on. Thank you. Because I know y'all agree with me. We may have Baptists and Methodists and all different from all different parts. I know I have my deacon brother from Glad Tidings. I, I love Glad Tidings. They, they help support us every month, and that's a great church in Springfield. Glad Tidings Assembly and uh, uh, Pastor uh, uh, McIntosh is such a great man of God, and it's a great church there. But you, you know, unless we really come back to the beginning, the pure power, Jesus told the disciples, the first of the church, he said, Acts 1.8, I'm gonna give you power to become my witnesses. You know, a lot of this power and the supernatural has been used sometimes to manipulate people and it's been used for offerings and it's, the, it's been diluted. It's like my pastor talks about, talks about the river at its source when it comes out of the spring or it comes from the top of a mountain from the snow and it goes down and the river goes down the mountain and it goes down into the valley. By the time the river's at its end, it's polluted. It has sediment and dirt and animal waste and everything from the time. So you don't want to go down to the end of the river and get your water. You want to go to the source. And folks, sometimes we have got tasted of the water that's been polluted and we think that's all the church and revival and it's supposed to be. But I'm telling you that the pure power comes from the source. And the source is Jesus. We need to go to the author and the finisher of our faith first. And he said, I'm gonna give you power to become my witnesses, Acts 4.33, and with great power, then the disciples gave witness to the, resurre the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. They didn't go off on this tangent or on this rabbit trail. They, they stuck to the main message, Jesus is alive and well. And Jesus is the answer for our world today. That's right. It's the resurrection that separates the true gospel of Jesus Christ from anything else. Muhammad, Buddha, they're dead. That, that fat guy, Buddha, he dead. He's gone. But Jesus is alive and well. He lives in our hearts. He shows himself in so many different ways. And, I, and that's what the disciples stuck to. They gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all and among them there was no lack. If you want to talk about finances and blessing and miracles and healing and all that, that, that comes by first, what did Jesus say himself? Seek the kingdom first, and then all these things will be added unto you. And he says, there was no lack among their group and among the beginning church, but people were being saved and was added to the church daily, multiplied to the day, because you start with 3,000 new converts when Peter spoke, and then the next, next day you have 6,000 more saved. That's multiplication, that's more than addition. Many were added to the church is because they, they kept the main thing the main thing. And we as God's people, People. I love crusaders like John Hagee and those who will stand up from their pulpit and say, America, it's time to get serious with God. And I, I believe it starts with the church first. You know, people are not going to believe anything that's religious and fake and, and hyped up and gimmick ridden and man manipulated. They want to know, come on, am I just really just the only one on my soapbox? I don't need to be on my soapbox. Today. You know, we have a soapbox segment. I'm gonna get even louder over there. But, but uh, you know, what, when we stick to the main thing, here's what happens, Ephesians 1. And it says, uh, do not cease to give thanks for God. But the God of our, preach the Lord God of our Lord Jesus, the Father of glory, and he will give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. And the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened, not only for the church, but those that you say, you know, my neighbor or that, that atheist down the road or they, I have a Muslim that lives next to me. You know, they just, they just don't understand. Well, if you're telling people the truth about Jesus and sharing the love of Jesus, it promises, Ephesians 1.18, that the eyes of their understanding will be open and that you may know the hope of your calling. What is your real calling? Are you on this earth just to get minimum wage and work day after day and have a nice house and have a nice car and have a nice family and have a nice education? All that's nice. But you know, the hope of your calling, the calling is to be in this world to have all those things after you seek the kingdom and promote the kingdom of God first. We have to do it, folks. These things will not happen. These shootings, this terrorist, oh, we need, we need a stronger defense. We need uh, you know, all this. And we're trying to think in the natural. 
But I, with all my heart, God spoke to me so clear that it is a supernatural, spiritual thing that we need in this nation. The natural will not fall into place until the spiritual comes first. The scriptures clearly say, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the hope of our calling. And this is called the riches of his glory. Not just a big bank account, come on. It's the riches of his glory, of his inheritance in the saints. And it's the exceedingly greatness of his power towards us, who those who will believe according to the working of his mighty power in and through us, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead. There it is, the resurrection again. And he seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places, far above principalities and power and might and dominion. Is that my one minute to pray or is that all I got left? That's all I got left. Okay, our normal guy's gone, and so the other girl here filling in is fired. But I'm kidding. Every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in which is to come, he put everything under his feet. If we really believe that we have the authority in the Lord Jesus Christ, we have everything that he's given us, that power he promised in Acts 1.8 to be his witness. If we have all those things, what are we waiting for? Let us be bold. One of the things, if you go through the book of Acts, and by the, word, by the way, it's a book of Acts, action, not just words. The action came first, and then they wrote the Bible after the action happened. So let us act. It, but all through Acts, it says they were bold. Boldness, what would have separated the disciples from everybody else? They had the boldness of the Lord, the boldness of the Holy Spirit. Let us be bold, and let's call to prayer. We need more prayer meetings than potlucks in our churches. Let us go back to that. And if I'm running for any office, I'm running for the office of, come on, let it start here with me. Let it start with you. I once heard that Dolly Parton keeps a little thing in her purse that says, if it's to be, it's up to me. Well, come on. If it's to be, it's up to you and me to do what we're called to do. And if we act first, God will back us up with his boldness and his power and his strength. And Daniel... You're going to sing the song that is perfect for this time. If my people give freedom journey. One more hand. I'll be back. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, shall humble themselves. If my people, which are called by my name, shall seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. Then will I hear from heaven Then will I hear and will forgive Forgive them sin If my Which are called by my name Shall humble themselves Shall humble themselves And pray I will forgive their sin I will forgive their sin I will forgive their sin and heal their land. They shall humble themselves, shall humble themselves and pray. I will forgive their sin I will forgive their sin I will forgive their
their sin and Y'all don't know what a God moment this is. Uh, originally had a different group that had an emergency in their family, and they said, why don't you have Freedom Journey? They weren't even planned to be on the program, but what a perfect song for what we're talking about today. And uh, I'm telling you, I, 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 I wouldn't be serious if I didn't think this was a serious uh, serious moment and I don't think it should be just the moment because we're praying many people are having prayer meetings because of the shooting and all I think it should continue until we see a change in this nation and if I amen if I had my way I, I, I wouldn't do a commercial but I, I must we, we, for us to stay on the air we need your help today we have our monthly partners that help us we call them our family of friends and that's $34 a month I've been an evangelist for 34 years I know I only look 35 so it's hard to imagine but uh, they're laughing over there from Florida of course yes Yes, <laughs> but 34 years, $34 a month is what, and this month we have a, a, a special Christmas CD we're gonna send you, and my newest sermon called The Power in the Second Touch of Jesus. Why did Jesus touch some people twice? How many know that one touch is all it takes for Jesus? But uh, he did it twice to prove something, and I think I figured it out. And uh, so it's on my DVD, so you get DVD and CD for joining this month in the month of November as we give thanks to the Lord. Our ball cap, which we sent one to the president, he likes ball caps, and I thought, why don't we send him one of ours? This was created and given to us uh, solely, we're the only ones that offer it. It's called the Friends of Israel ball cap, and it has the cross of Jesus and the Star of David on it. And so one size fits all, it says I stand with my brothers. There's another way that we know we'll be blessed as a nation if we stand with Israel. And uh, so I, I look every day to watch the president to see when he's going to wear it and if he's going to wear it. Maybe he's over there and, uh, in Asia and uh, he'll show up in China wearing one of these. I don't know. I don't know. That would be cool. But, uh, so I watch the president every day. Not always because I want to either, but uh, I just want to see him wear my hat. So anyway, um, we also have uh, very uh, many different supplements, many different natural things that will help you and, as you help us. And uh, we don't sell anything and you don't buy anything, but as you donate, you can say, I like that gift or that gift, and then we'll send it to you free shipping. Uh, there's the Kevin Shorey Show mug, you know. You put water in it and actually it filters the water. It's pure water just by put <laughs> No, I know. Y'all are smart. You're laughing at every one of my jokes. You're going to get free gifts today from Clearwater, Florida. But um, one of the natural things that God made, and you're going to see Dr. Pedersen, who is part of this company that's put this together. There's no artificial ingredients, no preservatives, no additive, it's additives. Purified water with silver. This is structured so that it's alkaline, not acidic. You get your other silvers, they're acidic. You get your colloidal silvers. They can, if you take too much, it'll turn you blue. You can drink this whole bottle down one time and you'll never turn another color um, other than you'll be healed. This stuff, uh, uh, Bruce from Minnesota called and had uh, shingles and a virus that stayed inside of his body that affected his eyes. The doctors recommended some steroids and ointments to try to make it go away. Nothing worked as good as the silver. With the steroids, there's always some side effects. There's no side effects with your structured sacred. It's called sacred because somehow the inventors infused sacred hymns into the, into the, the uh, metal of silver, just like you sing to plants and they help grow. How many believe that actually works? That's right. If you speak bad things, it'll, uh, but if you speak good things, it grows. Same thing. So they tried to put good music in the silver. We also have the gel that helps with burns and cuts and scrapes. So that's the silver. I could talk about it all day, but I, I just... Uh, I just think that this will help you in so many ways, so everybody should have this on your shelf, other than the other antifungal creams and stuff, that this will really help you. Silver gel, sacred silver. Here is Dr. Pedersen to tell you about it himself. Roll it. Hello, my name is Dr. Gordon Pedersen. My mission is to help lift people physically, spiritually, and mentally. I believe the body will heal itself if you give it the proper tools. Dr. Pedersen is board certified in anti-aging and regenerative medicine. 
He has four medical doctorate degrees in areas of clinical, research, naturopathic, and wound care. He has worked under Jonas Salk, the American medical researcher noted for the discovery of the polio vaccine. Dr. Pedersen is the medical director of the Silver Health Institute. I want you to recognize the history of silver. It's part of our mission statement to recognize that a thousand years ago, silver was nothing more than a coin thrown into a barrel to inhibit bacterial growth. A hundred years ago, the new ionic forms and colloids were starting to show up and they got a lot of really good benefits, medically speaking. Then in the last 10 years, there has been new Aquasol technology and even patents have been developed throughout this time period. But now at the Silver Health Institute, we're identifying new and improved forms of silver. Not just Aquasols, not just colloids or ionics, but actual structured silver with benefits like alkalinity so that your body can use it every single day. Get that, it'll help you every single day. And we're back. I want to thank Faith's Journey. Oh, Faith's Journey, that's another group we've had on. Freedom's Journey, uh, Freedom Journey on the program. And you're welcome back anytime. Get their CDs or any of their information. All their information was there in front of them while they were singing. Let me end with this, Ephesians 1. I'm on my soapbox. He chose us in him before the foundations of the world. So if we're chosen by him, don't you think that we have a calling? Don't you think we have a commitment to do something for him? This is my prayer, the prayer that Paul gave to the Ephesians, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him in these last days, so that the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places far above all principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named every wicked and evil thing that can try to attack our land he's given us authority over us not only in this age but also in the age to come and he put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him who fills all in all if he fulfills all in all why are we not sharing more why are we not telling more let us do something to change let us not be the thermometer that reports the temperature let us be the thermostat that changes the tem temperature by preaching the true gospel the undiluted pure source and pure power of the gospel of Jesus Christ because I'm tell you I'm on fire from what has happened the enemy is not going to get glory out of what has happened in Texas he's not going to get glory out of what have happened in New York or what can, what can happen and has happened in California or what has happened with all the things that the enemies try to throw at this nation because God will fill all in all. He's told us to place it all and put it under our feet. Let's do it today. Jesus is the answer for our world today. We'll see you tomorrow. Promotional consideration paid for by Meyer Hotels. The preceding program was brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends.